Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Apollo. This is the Apollo Neuro Wearable, and this wearable is geared towards uh, improving your sleep, relaxation, focus, meditation, energy, and recovery uh, via using tactile vibration. So it's a, a wearable that you can wear on your wrist or your ankle, or they also supply a clip that you can clip it to your clothing. And by using vibrations uh, and that tactile sensation, it should put your body in a parasympathetic state versus a, a sympathetic state. So more on the rest and digest versus the fight or flight. We're going to take a look at it now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at everything that you get in the box. And by the way, I have been using this product for over seven weeks now. Uh, and I will, of course, have some data on what has changed in my usage. Now, they do give you a welcome card here and it shows you exactly what everything that you will get in the package. Uh, we are going to go over that right now and you do get some getting started guides uh, as well for the uh, Apollo Neuro wearable and of course uh, the clip that comes with it. Uh, again, I'm going to show you both of these really quickly right now during the unboxing. So here is the main device, and this comes in six different colors. I have the stealth black version here, uh, and as you can see, there is a micro USB charge port here on the back for recharging the device. Now this device will last six to eight hours of constant usage, uh, so you shouldn't have any problems here. You do have two buttons on the front, uh, double tapping those buttons, or pressing both, I should say, at the same time, will restart the last mode that you just used. So say you're using one for sleep and you wake up during the middle of the night, you can just press both those buttons and it will restart. Uh, you can also increase and decrease the uh, uh, sensitivity of the vibrations with each button and the one with the little bump on it is your initial power button with an LED in the middle showing you charging states and things like that. Now again you do have several different colors you can get this in kind of like a, a white and with different bands on the top uh, again mine's black and black which is the stealth version uh, and it is set up so that you can use a clip uh, and you can clip this in or a wristband uh, to wear it on your wrist. So if you want to use the clip, this is uh, convenient for uh, clipping this to, you know, maybe your sock or uh, a piece of clothing like your shirt, uh, depending on where you feel comfortable having the device. So you don't necessarily need to use the wrist strap if you don't want to. Now, I'm a big fan of the wrist strap. I use this on my right inner side of my wrist uh, and I feel it very comfortable there. I have been using it again for over seven weeks and I do use this when I sleep as well. Now they give you a uh, standard USB to micro USB charge cable. This is a nice braided thick cable, a very high quality cable. Uh, again, you'll get six to eight hours of constant usage out of this before you'll have to recharge it. And in my experience, it takes about an hour to fully recharge. Uh, no big deal there. You can plug this end into any laptops, USB, uh, or your PC's USB, or you can use an AC to USB adapter uh, to recharge this if you want to. So that's pretty much everything that you get in the box here. Uh, it works out really well uh, for a couple different reasons. Again, the inclusion of a clip in case you do not want to use this uh, as a band. They also sent me a larger band. Uh, if you do want to put this around your ankle, you can use this on the inside of your ankle for, say, when you're sleeping or something like that, if you don't want something on your wrists. So they do have options for larger bands that will do this as well. And these bands do hold up pretty well, or at least have in my experience. Okay, so let's talk about what this does and how it works. Uh, again, uh, this is going to send vibrations uh, to your skin, so tactile uh, feedback for this. 
Uh, the vibrations themselves uh, are uh, different depending on the modes that you use. And we'll go over the app in just a moment and show you all the different uh, modes that they have uh, for this. But you can see uh, they've been studied in several clinical trials with a, a bunch more ongoing. So they do have clinical trials to back this up uh, based on 40% less stress, 11% increase in HRV, 25% uh, more focus and concentration, and 10% in faster physical recovery, uh, which is a nice as well. So you can wear this after you work out uh, to help you boost your HRV and recover more quickly. Okay, so talking about sleep, 19% average increase in deep sleep, 14 in REM sleep, 11% uh, in, in increase in HRV, and 4% average decrease in resting heart rate. Now, sleep is something that I am all over the place with. With my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, I was usually in the 50s to 60s on my sleep score. But as you can see here uh, from a few of these snapshots, uh, 83 on this one. And again, I sleep sometimes just during the day, sometimes at night, uh, six to eight hours or nine hours, depending on the, the uh, night or day. Uh, and this one came up at sleep score of 80. So I went from mid 50s to a low to mid 60s to uh, close to 80 on my sleep score fairly consistently. And this is a huge jump for me in my sleep quality, which of course will affect my HRV, which will of course affect my overall well-being. So these are very encouraging results uh, for my sleep quality in the last seven weeks using this product. So by far uh, with the Apollo Neuro, my sleep has increased dramatically, which I was very impressed with. Now, you may be asking, well, what about HRV? Well, I've done some tests with HRV as well, and I will have those up on the screen as well for you so you can check it out. I used Elite HRV, which is kind of a, an app that I can get on my Android phone and a chest strap uh, to measure my HRV. And you'll be uh, happy to know that the HRV scores have also gone up. Taking a look at my initial HRV, this was before I started using the Apollo Neuro. My HRV was uh, 44 uh, and a heart rate of 78, which is, you know, pretty decent, not bad. Uh, overall, uh, it's a fairly average HRV score for my age range. Uh, and 78 is not too bad of a resting heart rate as well. So overall, not too bad. But after seven weeks of using this, we can take a look at this screenshot, which shows you my HRV at 57 with a resting heart rate of 62. So this is, again, something that is e extremely important. Uh, this, uh, to me, shows me that my HRV has definitely gone up and my resting heart rate has definitely gone down. So I have a definite uh, improvement in sleep quality. And not only that, but I also have uh, improvement in my resting heart rate and my HRV has gone up a little bit as well. So that is all good news. Now this uses vibrations. I'm gonna have it at 70%. I want you to have a listen to see how loud it is. It's very, very silent. In fact, it was so silent that my uh, camera couldn't really even pick up the sound, even that's on 70% intensity uh, for the vibrations. Uh, so if you're worried about this waking up somebody else, if you're sleeping in bed with somebody, or if you're on a train or uh, a bus or something like that, and you want, don't wanna draw any attention, uh, they have done a really good job at keeping it silent. And the vibrations when it's against your skin can become quite uh, powerful. 
And of course, the last thing to touch on is a stress reduction uh, with the increase of my sleep scores and the increase of my HRV. Uh, I have had calmer moments during the day than I normally would have before I started using the Apollo Neuro. Now, with my background, I have extreme panic disorder and have been diagnosed for several years with it. So for me, it's a little bit of a, a different use case than, say, most people. I'm not going to, obviously, my uh, disorder is not going to be uh, eliminated by using just this device. Are my stress levels lower noticeably? Yes. And I like that fact, especially during the day, because if you want to do some deep breathing exercises or meditation, and they do have modes for that on the app as well, that you uh, will be uh, more easily able to uh, get into those flow states uh, using a device like this. Now, the good thing about this is it has a really nice app to it. The Apollo app is a, a great app here, and I really like it for a lot of reasons. As you can see on the main page here, or the home page of the app, uh, you're going to be able to see that uh, you have several different modes that you can use, like energy and wake up for when you wake up and you might want to uh, need a little boost there. Uh, if you want to check on your Apollo itself, you can turn it on airplane mode, you can do firmware updates, or you can transfer it to another device. Uh, you do have social and open, clear and focused, rebuild and recover, which is nice for after working out. You can do that session for like 15 minutes or 30 minutes, meditation and mindfulness, relax and unwind a couple hours before you go to bed, and of course, the sleep and renew, which is one of my favorite ones. Uh, you can also schedule uh, and add schedules here uh, for, you know, like clear and focus for a gentle wake up in the morning. You can add it to a schedule. So you have these options in the app to kind of schedule out your day if you would like to uh, and add it to a schedule. Now, I haven't been using the schedules myself uh, just because I like to just put it on a mode that based on how I feel at that time. Uh, and I've been using mine, uh, and you can see some of my favorites here are the meditation and the sleep and renew. Uh, and you can see over the past 30 days here, I've used this uh, from four to uh, you know six or seven hours a day consistently. Uh, and that is where I'm getting all of my information from. Uh, you can see your total minutes that are used, your streaks, uh, you get badges for certain things too. So it's it's got a very well-rounded app here uh, that'll allow you uh, to kind of dive deep in and take a look at your consistency and how it works. Now you can go in here and you can check out uh, your uh, data sharing with things like uh, Aura Ring. So if you have an Aura Ring that tracks your HRV, you can connect your Aura Ring as well. Uh, and you can also submit feedback and things like that. And of course, uh, looking at the modes, all the modes are different. Uh, you know, if, uh, depending on what you're trying to uh, achieve, if you want to go to sleep, uh, I wear this when I'm sleeping every night. You can set this for 15 minutes all the way up to 120 minutes, and it will stop after that. Uh, if you do happen to wake up uh, after it has uh, completed, you can press both the green buttons, and it will restart the last session that you used. Uh, usually, if that does happen to me and I, I press the buttons, uh, I fall back asleep within five minutes. Uh, another one, say clear and focused if you want to use that, if you're going to take a test or if you're working and you want to be clear and focused and ready for that. They're all going to have different uh, vibration patterns uh, that are geared towards putting you in those types of states. So the app is really intuitive, uh, very customizable, especially with schedules and uh, overall just rock solid as far as the app goes. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Apollo Neuro Wearable. This is a very interesting product that I did not know exactly what to expect when I first got it. Uh, the vibrations are strong enough and they are silent enough that I don't have to worry about bothering anyone else with them. Uh, and they have definitely increased my sleep quality. They have definitely increased my HRV and my resting heart rate, which in turn should alleviate some of my anxiety and to a degree has. 
Uh, again, with me, I'm an extreme case with panic disorder, uh, so I didn't expect it to just evaporate uh, by wearing this wearable, but it does help on the stress front as well as HRV and sleep, at least for me. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Apollo wearable, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.